Okay, so as podcasters, we have basically unlimited words, correct? We can make a podcast to be five minutes. We can make an hour. We can make four-hour podcasts. Ooh. We can do whatever we want to with our podcast. But imagine for a moment, hmm, imagine if for a moment that we only could use a 140 words per day. If there was a law, uh, I was on with a, on a pre-interview with one of my upcoming guests for Living the Next Chapter podcast, and they said they were going to go see this play called Lemons, 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 Lemons. <laughs> and it, the idea behind this play is, imagine if there really was a world where you had only access to 140 words per day maximum and you can't share any extra words with anyone else so if you only used 130 you couldn't give 10 to someone you had a maximum of 140 words and then you could not say anything else for that day um, and so that brought to mind twitter in the old days when twitter first started how it had limited numbers of characters not words but characters and just wondering if we had a limit to how many words we could say in our podcast, what would those words be and why would they be there? Hmm. Interesting thoughts, right? Here on the How to Podcast series, we're going to look at, hey, what would I say if I only had 140 words? Here we go. <laughs> So I can't promise that this podcast will be exactly 140 words. So let's make that claim right up front because I am not counting right now and uh, I'm probably should be. I will put in here a clip from a promo for the this play I'm mentioning that is called Lemons, 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 Lemons. That's five times the lemons. Uh and this is a clip that they have on their YouTube channel. I'll put a link in the show notes so you can see them doing this promo for the for the play. But check it out. It's pretty funny. The one person is, is talking. The other person beside them is counting with their fingers every single word. And then they get to the end of their promo and they have to stop. So the power of our words is very important. And I think that we need to, as podcasters, have some thought around what words matter in our podcast and what words can we remove and how can we be how can we provide the best podcast experience and content for our listeners without being too wordy or using things we don't need to use to get our point across and this comes back to planning what are we going to talk about this comes back to editing, being good at taking out filler words and things that don't add value. If you're doing an interview show, maybe there's an interview question you asked and the answer or the question didn't really serve the purpose of the interview or didn't add value to your content. Maybe you can take it out without removing the context of the interview. What can we do as a podcaster to create the best experience for our listeners? So they walk away with the best content possible and we provide something of value. So here's the, the clip from the audio for the play, lemons, 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 lemons. And yes, I'm counting those out on my fingers so that I don't miss a lemon. Uh, but here's a clip for the play. Okay, do you think we can describe this play in 140 words? So this play is about... Two people, Oliver and Bernadette, who are living in a world where a law, a piece of legislation has been established where every person in that country has a word limit of 140 words per day. So what our characters need to do is navigate themselves around this world as they cohabit and uh, explore their relationship. They are, you take over, what are we at? 50. 50 left? Okay. No, no, that's 50. We're done 50. But now I think we're probably 60. So some of the themes that this play, 
Some of the topics that come up in this play are how do we use language? Who would, if we were given 140 words, who would we talk to? What would we say? Where you choose to spend your words. Yeah. At work or at home. Right. How much do you give your partner? Mm -hmm. How much do you give to work? Does everyone get the limit of 140 words or are some people allowed to have more words? Politicians sometimes have this sort of side alley where they can go down and get more words. Lawyers do too. Bernadette's a lawyer. I think that's she 120. Argues... I'm babbling. It's on at the Harold Pinter Theatre. It is directed by ah, Josie Rourke. Written by Sam Steiner. Starring, Starring. Aidan Turner. And... and... <laughs> think no! That. You nearly made the cut. That's unfortunate. Starring Aidan Turner. Lemon. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't remember when I jumped on Twitter, but looking back, I did some research online just looking at this, but back in 20, 2008, um, there we, we saw some early days of Twitter and, and the character limits that were allowed to be on, on Twitter. Uh, I think it was like 140 characters. I think that was correct back in the early days. And that was a limit. You could not go over that. And and the idea was that they wanted to have like 100 characters, but allow space for your name and things like that as well. So 140 characters available. And then in spring of 2010, it looks like it moved up to 240 characters. And uh, the nice thing about it was smaller for character counts is people had to be a little bit more concise and get to the point and make their tweet public based on the limits that were there. And now they're talking about making it bigger and expanding it and whatever. But the idea of living within a limit. And if we had a limit, back to the play I mentioned, and back to... This idea that we can only say so many words per day. How could we translate that thought into our podcast and saying, imagine if we had a limit for how many words we could say in our podcast? How would we pick the best words? So I think there's a few things we can do as podcasters to ensure that we present the best content possible. So here are six tips suggestions to follow for new podcasters and content creators to create a clear and organized content for your audience. Okay, ready? So number one, start with a clear plan. Before you start recording, write out an outline of what you want to cover in your episode. This will keep you on track during the recording and make sure that all the important points that you wanted to cover are covered and nothing gets missed in the process. So start with a clear plan, number one. Number two, use easy-to-follow language. Speak clearly and use simple language that is easy for your audience to understand. Many times we will get caught in uh, talk and speech that excludes people who might not be on the inside track of our topic, and we we might use an acronym and not explain what it means, assuming that everyone knows what we're talking about. Just keep in mind your audience, and if you had somebody new in the class, new in your content, who has never heard of what you're talking about, how can you include them as well? So use easy-to-follow language. Number three, keep it short. In general terms, people's attention span is pretty short. Social media doesn't make that any better with uh, small clips and hits of content here and there all over the place. To have someone like yourself spend time in a podcast like this while doing whatever else you're doing at the moment, uh, it's nice to be able to have content that's a longer in format so that the complete message can be shared. But in social media, we're used to little fragments of content and uh, so 
keep it in mind that your podcast needs to be long enough for the content to be meaningful enough for your audience to stay. Anytime you go longer than that and you're just filling time, that's when you might see a drop off in your audience because they're not getting the value that they were promised or expected when they hit play on your episode. So keep it short. Keep it to what needs to serve your content. Four, edit your podcast. If you can't do this, if you don't know how to do this, reach out because I do editing to help. But editing your podcast helps take out some of those spaces that you don't need, um, maybe words that you don't need that doesn't add value to the podcast episode. Cleans it up and makes it as concise as possible at the end of the day. Editing is a is a great thing to put in place for every podcaster. And it's not hard, super, super hard. And if you can do basic things with your computer, you can learn to do some basic editing, which will benefit you. Again, I help people with Audacity is what I use. It's free, so there's no cost to you to use the program. And once you understand the basics of how the program works, you can do a lot of great stuff with it. So if you have any questions about Audacity, reach out. I'd love to help you. Edit your podcast. Listen to your recording and make changes to improve the overall quality of the episode before you hit publish, before you send it out to the world. Number five, add value. Always make sure to provide your audience with useful and interesting information. If you come to your podcast episode recording week with no idea of content, no idea of what you're going to talk about, you bring your guest on and you haven't read their book, you haven't talked to them, you have no idea what their subject is, you haven't done a pre-interview, you have no idea who they are, even if they'll be a good guest or not, and you just hit record and let's see what happens. All that translates to your audience is that you're un, you're not prepared, you're not committed, and you haven't invested the time to provide something of value. Imagine your favorite movie star, musician, just winging it. Nah. We'll see what happens. Right? There's some planning that goes into all this great TV, movies, music, whatever, podcasts. There should be a planning element to what you do. Add value. Why are you here? Number six, get feedback. Listen to your listeners and what they say to you. It can give you an idea of what they're looking for in a podcast. Now, just consider this that sometimes the feedback you get might not be something that steers your, your ship and decides which way you're going to head. If you're not an interview podcaster and somebody wants you to do interviews, well, maybe that's just not where you're headed. So thank them for their suggestions, but be true to what you want to see happen for your audience and your content long term. So by following these simple little tips, start with a clear plan, use easy to follow language, keep it short, edit your podcast, add value, and get some feedback. By following these tips, you'll be able to have a clear plan, and organize content that will be valuable to your listeners. It takes time for you to perfect your podcast. This is something that you can improve on over time. But just imagine for a moment when you're ready to hit record that you only have 140 words that you could say to get your point across. Can you do it? What if you had 100 words? 50 words, 10 words. Can you get your content to the world in a concise way that adds value if there was this imaginary limit? No, no. Try it. Plan out your next episode with a little bit of thought to how can I do this the best for my audience? And then your next episode plan that one and the next one plan that one take all these lemons 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 
lemons. Lemons? And apply them to your podcast. When life gives you that many lemons, you've got a lot of lemonade you can make. So let's make some lemonade today. So if you've tried this, you put this into place, these six tips, send me a link to your podcast episode. I want to hear it. I want to hear how you've done. I'd love to give you some feedback and share and encourage you in your podcast journey. If there's a podcast episode you're just not sure about and you're looking for some direction, send me a link. Send me a link to your podcast. I would love to promote you, promote your podcast, share it with my audience as well, but to encourage you. Again, there are a lot of podcast judges out there who are here to judge and criticize and ridicule, talk you down, and promote themselves. Then there are others who are here as more of a coach. And we are here to encourage you, strengthen you, support you. We look at it differently. And our goal is to encourage you and not put you down. That's my goal. And if I can help you in any way, I'd love to do that. So thank you for listening to the How to Podcast series. Make sure you check out all the other podcasts in our library of podcasts. We have the Upcycle Canada podcast. We have Living My Side Hustle podcast. We have Living the Next Chapter podcast. We have the Add to My Playlist podcast for musicians. A podcast for dad called Dad Space. We have the Daily Santa podcast, which is a podcast we did around Christmas, counting down to Santa's return, and then the Out of Podcast series. Seven shows for you. And if one of these resonates with you, please share it with your friends and family and somebody that we can add value to. Thanks for being part of the podcast. Go out there and grab a glass of lemonade and let's make something great. Cheers. Mm-hmm.